What makes you happy? Oh, I like that. Show a big show of hands. Okay, we'll go around. Yeah. Being here. Being here. Excellent. I was going to say being around these wonderful children. That's awesome. Makes me happy. When it came time to pair music with conversation in the context of both celebrating the city of Wilmington as well as acknowledging its challenges, uh, Bach seemed like a perfect choice. It feels in some ways like a culmination of, of the project, but it also feels like very much like the beginning, uh, like we're bringing something new into the world. <laughs> What does Wilmington mean to you as a, as a city, as a home? Everything. I'm a, I'm a Delawarean. This is, yeah. this is my home. I mean, I care about the people when it's like they're off. They care for me. What I really enjoy is getting to talk to these folks that I talk to. In this case, here at, at uh, St. Stephen's at, at the food pantry, hearing their stories and, and sort of what their dreams are for their lives. but the real concerns they have. It's an important project to be here. Part of the reason that I wanted Larry to come to St. Stephen's is I wanted him to see the pantry here. He was talking about the project about social justice and, and the idea of, of what could Wilmington be. I thought, well, come and see the people who actually are the largest stakeholders in what a better Wilmington could be. person yet, but he's yeah. so lovely already to work with. His idea was to commission me to write one piece to, as sort of an answer to each box suite. There are six cello suites. Nearly 40 years now that I've been playing the cello, and Bach was one of the first things within the first, you know, two, three years. Yeah, it's, it's interesting bringing the arts to folks who aren't really um, associated with the arts. I, I like the idea that Larry wants to meet in the margins and, and, and get proximate with the guys who are formerly incarcerated so they get to see another aspect of art that they can be a part of. It, it can be, you know, citywide or statewide or global in the sense that you're bringing folks who aren't um, accustomed to being being asked to partake in something so special to be involved, you know, um, it gives a sense of a sense of uh, empowering and, and belonging. I think. Just go interview people and put their either their voices themselves or what they're saying and how like how it resonates with us. Kind of translate that into a musical piece. So when I had spoken with Larry about this, I was like, oh my god, this is exactly what Melissa and I have been talking about. What's interesting to me and what I, what I found sort of revelatory in talking to these people that I met and interviewing them uh, is that actually their feelings about music aren't all that different than mine. When you think about music, what is it, how does it make you feel? When I hear music, it makes me happy when I start singing. It makes me happy. <laughs> 